uh, B, uh, would appear to confirm earlier uh, permutation that uh, he would draw votes from you. And uh, looking at uh, the outcome of the election with the benefit of hindsight, do you regret the fact that you could not work together under a single platform? And secondly, I was, I'm also wondering about your thoughts on the perception that the PDP seems to be in trouble today because of your insistence on a contesting election at a time there was a clamor for a southern presidential candidate. What do you have to say, sir? Thank you. We're taking the very last question. Yes. Thank you. Your Excellency, sir, my name is Tony Aileme. I write for Business Day newspaper. Um, over the years, we have known how you had used the judiciary to change the course of so many issues across the country. But right now, Nigerians are wondering that the current judiciary that we have, there are issues around credibility. I don't know if you also believe that pursuing this cause, you are likely to get justice from the system as it is right now. Or do you have any doubt? Are there issues that you want to consider around the judiciary, sir? Thank you. Thank you. That's the end of the question series. Now we will call on the presidential candidates to respond accordingly. Thank you. Well, first and foremost, about um, the Labour Party, whether at the time Peter decided to leave PDP and join Labour Party, we had not, I believe, begun our primary process. So the question of whether uh, he was going to get a ticket or not, uh, you know, did not arise. Yes, agreed, that is a fact. Uh, he took our votes from the southeast and south-south. And that, of course, would not make him a president. I was doing it out. You all know that to be a president in this country, you need votes from everywhere. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, Peter is welcome to dialogue with PDP. Uh, we are ready to dialogue with him. So I, I don't think we will have any problem if he wants to dialogue with PDP and either form an alliance or not. But I also want you to recall that I was the first candidate to say that because of the way Nigeria has been governed in the last seven to eight years, there has been deep divisions between north and south, east and west. And I said to Nigerians, if I happen to be elected president, the first thing I will do is to form a government of national unity. What? What do I mean by that? I mean, I will look at the performance of each political party and bring them into the government so that first and foremost, we reunify this country and bring about peace and stability. It is only when you do that, then you will be able to start developing the country, whether economically or otherwise. You cannot develop a country that is deeply divided, that is in crisis. So I was the first to commit to the formation of government of national unity. And I also have it on record that when I ran in 2019, I picked an Igbo man as a running mate, simply because I felt that 
after any other zone again, the next zone must be the southeast. In 2011, I also picked another Igbo man. And in 2023, I also picked another Igbo man. And I have always said that I will be a stepping stone to an Igbo presidency. Because there is no zone alone in this country that can produce a president on its own. I have always told my Igbo compatriots, I said, look, you negotiate for power. You don't, you don't fight for it. You negotiate for it. So, uh, for anybody to think, you know, that I have anything against labor, I think Peter was in a rush. Do you know why I say he was in a rush? When the campaign started, and our PDP governors sat down and said they must produce the president amongst them. They must produce a vice president amongst them. They must produce a chief of staff am amongst them. Peter got scared and, and, and left. I did not get scared. I, 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 I stood up against the governors. When we formed this PDP, some of them perhaps were in secondary school or university. So, so why should I be afraid? So I stood up and I fought them. They fought me, yes, and I fought them. And I won the primaries. So if he was there, nothing could have stopped him from becoming, you know, a, a running mate. Because I had, I had... I had the right to choose whoever I wanted, you know, as, as my running mate. So the question of uh, whether I will work with Peter or not, whether Peter uh, wounded uh, PDP, yes, to some extent he did, because all the votes he carried, there are PDP votes in the south, south, and the southeast. So that's, that's true. But that's politics anyway. But whether, you know, he will achieve his objective, you know, by that or not, that is left to God to decide. So, the next is the issue of judiciary. Uh, for those of you who don't read, 